Historic Ann Arbor is the place to be for an incredible college football matchup here at Michigan Stadium. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Kirk Herbstreet. Aaron Andrews will join us from the sidelines shortly. We've got a great game in store for you today, and we're brought to you by Lowe's. Let's build something together. It's the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Michigan Wolverines. of a season and today's game looks to add to the excitement and maybe answer a few questions for Michigan their defense is sparked by an excellent safety I think every facet of his game is gonna have to be working at a high level today this is a very talented quarterback he's facing time has come to take you down to the field for the coin toss brought to you by Lowe's let's build something together Walden has the ball set how he wants it, and we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. Fernandez fields it at the one. Tackle at the 27-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 27. Taken down in the backfield. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down and 12. Ball on the 26. Got the corner. At the 40. Inside the 30. The 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. Touchdown. This is why his name is mentioned around all the awards. He's worth the price of admission all by himself. hits the PAT. A quick two-play, 72-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So our score, seven, nothing. Ohio Smith State looks State ready State to kick this one off. Williams deep to return. And this is just a booming kick. He'll return it from the one. Brought down at the 26. Kickoff return 25 yards. They'll start this drive at the 26-yard line. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Takes it right. Oh, what a hit. And the tailback's going nowhere on that counter. From their own 23-yard line, third down. Catches it, brought down at the 33-yard line. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. The defense decided to go conservative, sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. Heading for the corner. He's out to the 30. Oh, he got nailed on that one. With this field position and a good scoring opportunity, they might try to strike quickly to take the crowd out of the game. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Oh. 
And he carries the ball for a nice game. McGee picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 39. Fires deep down the left side. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Almost a big play. He patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder, though he didn't make the catch like one. They work the tailback, and he's short. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. So it's fourth down. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Oh, man, he took him down hard. You hope that a lane or two will open up and give you some space to work with. But that never happened on this kick. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Caught. Big opening. They'll bring him down at the 31. Rogers on tackle at the 31-yard line. That's good enough for another Michigan. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. He's taken down at the 34. Dorty gains around three yards on the run. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 34. Brown drops to throw, and it's the senior. Williams, Williams picks him up two yards with that catch. That'll bring up third and four. From their own 36-yard line, third down. Let's it go. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. They know what to expect on third down, and we're right in place to break up the pass. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's tackled at the 28. Return for a gain of six yards. They'll get the ball here at the 28-yard line. It's first and 10. Here's the option. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Finds the freshman. He's all alone to the 20. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. He makes the PAT, a short two-play, 72-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 14, nothing. Smith has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. There's a flag on the play. Holding on the receiver's team. You've probably heard it said that there's holding on every play. It's just not called. I don't think it's really that prevalent, but you can get away with it sometimes, and other times you can't. 
This drive will start at the 11. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Kent gains about five yards on the play. That brings up second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 16-yard line. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. They line up at the 13. It's third down. Looks to pass. And he's sacked. Now that'll be his fifth sack of the season. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. So it's fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's taken down at the 46. Good field position here. They'll start this drive inside their opponent's territory. Hand off to the back. Look out! And down he goes at the 36-yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. Second and inches. Ball on the 36-yard line. Decides to slide, and a good decision there. Yep, he didn't have anybody open downfield, and instead of panicking and throwing the ball into coverage or maybe throwing the ball away, he had the composure to recognize the open field and had the athletic ability to get the first down. That's a nice job. And he's tackled after positive yardage. McGee picks up about four yards on the play. From the 28-yard line, second down. throws incomplete that pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball and it comes out a little wobbly here's the long ball left side can't connect these guys were ready for the pass and played it well to come up with the deflection they're going to try a long field goal here. This kick will be about a 45 or 46 yarder. It has the distance. And he just drilled it from long range. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. So our score, Ohio State 17, Michigan nothing. Smith is lined up to kick this one off. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The offense will take over at the 22. Runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down. He scrambles there for about eight yards. Second and one coming up here. Ball on their own 30. Hey. 
Here comes the pressure. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Brown off the fake, and he's tackled at the 49. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He wants it all going long. Dropped. The pass is incomplete. Grant is the intended receiver receiver away. Away. That makes that it make second, second and ten. From the 49-yard line, second down. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Draw here, and he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Third down. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Drops back to pass. He's in trouble. The pass the falls incomplete. Shaw continues to see receiver play. play. That makes that it makes fourth, and fourth and eight. Fourth down. They come out in a punt formation. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. They'll start at the 20-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Look at left, finds his fullback. Horn gains four yards on that reception. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 24. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 40. Good outside run there. He tops 100 yards on the ground with that last run. This kid is just a monster when it comes to picking up stats. And I'm sure the folks who vote on the Heisman will take notice of that. Hands it to the back. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. McGee gets about four yards on the play. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on the 50. Give to the tailback. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. Penalty marker down in the backfield. Might be a holding call. Personal foul. Dropping the pass. The officials are keeping a closer eye on hits to the quarterback. So you've got to be careful that it's timed right and that it's clean. And if you really hit him hard, you can easily draw the personal foul. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Here's the eighth play of the series. It's second down. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. It's 
It's third down. They'll line it up at the 12. And down he goes at the 10-yard line. They played it pretty carefully, going with the run in a short yarded situation, and it paid off. They give to the tailback. Touchdown, Bucks! This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. And he hits the PAT. A nice nine play, 76 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 24, nothing. Smith has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 10. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. This drive will start at the 26. We've got a first and 10. Dorty on the inside handoff, and he's tackled at the 37. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 37. Again with a carry. Nice run there. Dorty gets six yards on the carry. Second down and five. Ball on the 43-yard line. Brown set to go to the air, and they get the sack. From their own 41-yard line, it's third down. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. It's fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. They'll set up shop at the 22. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Finds his receiver who's all alone. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, huge play. He's quickly reached 100 yards through the air. Well, the quarterback is making great reads, and he's doing a good job of finding his open receivers. And he converts the extra point. Ohio, Ohio State, State kicked this one off. He'll return it from the three. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 23. This drive will start at the 23-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Feeds it to the back. He's taken down at the 23. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Slides down. So the quarterback picks up about eight on the scramble.
from their own 31-yard line. Third down. They'll run the option. He fights forward to about the 33. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. Tackle at the 34. They'll set up shop at the 34-yard line. First and 10. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. McGee gains around eight yards on the run. Second and two yards to go. Ball on their own 42. Tackle made at the 44. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on the 44. Throws and it's knocked away. Nice job there to bring up a fourth down. Pretty good throw here by the quarterback, but he couldn't quite get it in there. That was a nice job by the defense. Fourth down. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. This one might be coming back, folks. So let's check out the penalty. Clipping, Clipping. on the receiving, on the receiving team. team. Clipping is the call, and Still now they'll have to there. find a way to make up those yards right here. First and ten, ball on the 14-yard line. They'll run it. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 25. Catches it, and that's all. Brown gains four yards on that reception. And this one's turning ugly, and we've only played one. The score here at Michigan Stadium, Ohio State 31, Michigan nothing. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Dorty again, and he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 31-yard line. It's a pass on third and short. He couldn't drag his feet. Incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. And that was excellent punt coverage. I agree, Brad. That was very well defended. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. And he's tackled at the 36. McGee gets three yards on the play. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 36.
McGee on the handoff. Got an opening. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And he scores. Touchdown. And that run puts him over the 200-yard rushing mark. Let me remind everybody that this guy's only a freshman. So if he's doing this now, can you imagine what he's going to be doing in a few years? He makes the PAT, a short two-play, 67-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 38-0. Smith gets set to kick this one away. Williams takes it at the four, and he's taken down at the 29-yard line. This drive will start at the 29, first and 10. Brown drops back. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Brown drops back to pass. Brought down at the 48-yard line. He picks up a good seven yards there on the quarterback keeper. It's second down, three to go. Ball on the 48. Option here. Nice run, and he's brought down. Picked up a first down on that carry. Yeah, a good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage. Brown on first down, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. And for Barry, that sack was his fifth of the year. I'll tell you what. This guy seems to give maximum effort on every play. He is so hard to keep off the quarterback. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And tackled for a loss. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. Brown steps back to pass. They'll drop him for a loss. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. Fourth down. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's out to the 30, brought down at the 36. And for McGee, it's been a fun afternoon. Well, I guarantee you there's nobody having more fun than the big guys up front just dominating the line of scrimmage. This guy has such powerful legs, as we've seen all day today. An arm tackle's not going to bring him down. You've got to get in front of him and wrap him up to have any chance of slowing him down. One of the things that'll make his performance even more memorable is the sheer punishment that his team is inflicting on a hated rival. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. Give to the tailback. And he carries the ball for a nice game. McGee picks up five with the carry. That 
from their own 41 yard line it's second down Here's a throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That pass play gets him roughly three yards. Well, it's a good job here to just secure the football, but he just doesn't have enough speed to turn that into something big. Silva set to go to the air. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. It's the tailback. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. McGee comes away with five yards on the carry. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 37-yard line. Silva steps back to pass. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled at the 23. He's going to pick up less than a yard on the quarterback scramble. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. McGee again. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Make it a triple dip, folks. When Heisman voters are trying to decide who will get their support, they're going to be thinking about performances like this one he's having here today. And he hits the PAT. So that's a seven-play, 65-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The score now, 45 Nothing. Smith has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. And for Love, he's been all over the field for this defense. I mean, this guy has just really separated himself from everybody else on the football field. It's just going to be a, an individual performance you're going to remember for a long time. And he's shown tremendous effort and determination in racking up these tackles. Laying a whipping on these guys while playing a fantastic game must be a pretty good feeling. They'll get the ball here at the 19-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Brown, back to throw. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. So it's second and 16. Ball on the 13-yard line. And he's tackled at the 14. Nothing doing on the halfback draw. Third down, 15 to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. They'll make the sack. The quarterback didn't have any time to find the open man. Fourth down, the punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. On the ground with the tailback. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Down. 
First and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. They hand it off again. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14. Nice run there. McGee gains about four yards on the play. That brings up second and five. Second down. Defense gets set to defend the short field. McGee again. And that sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. They're crowding the line. They'll work the right side, and there's nothing going there. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. It's second down. Here they go. The defense backed up into their end zone. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Rose complete touchdown. And for Silva, that's touchdown pass number three of this half. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 41-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. So our score, 52, nothing. Ohio, Ohio State, State is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. For Ohio State, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. Well, this is really not surprising. This is what they do. They apply pressure. And because of all their problems at the line, this offense is having a difficult time moving the ball. Well, I think they're doing a great job right now with their athletic ability of putting pressure on the quarterback. And when you're an offense and you're struggling like this, it's going to put you in a lot of third and long situations, which obviously allows the defense to pin their ears back and just flat out come after the quarterback. Well, you can really look around at the whole team's performance to see why they have this huge advantage. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Brought down at the 30-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. From their own 30-yard line, third down. They'll throw for the first. And he's taken down at the 30. Well, they stuck with the run, and it pays off for them. You know what, Brad? So important on third down to rely on the offensive line to get a good push, and that's what they did there to pick up the first down. They'll bring him down at the 31. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That brings up second and nine. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Brown set to go to the air. He's going to take off. Slides down. from their own 44-yard line. First down. Hey. 
Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on their own 49. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Diving for extra yardage. I doubt anybody will ever mistake this guy for a tailback, but he didn't look too bad running the ball there. Hand off left, and oh, Dorothy. he hit hard. Dorty gets about a yard on the play. That brings that brings up second, second, nine. Nine. second down and nine to go. This is the ninth play of this drive. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. Brown drops back. The quarterback really took a shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. This was just an unnecessary hit. He should have been disciplined for a play like that. It's first and ten, and they continue to work the ball downfield. Dorty gets another handoff. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Here's the 12th play of the drive. It's first down. Brown steps back to pass. They bring him down. Second down, goal to go. And this is the 13th play of this drive. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. That makes it makes it goal. And here's the 14th play of the drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He drops back. Steps up and goes down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. The holder's on the 26. This will be about a 36-yarder. Kicks up. I think the defense jumped the gun a little bit on that play. Offside, home defense. The kick is good. Going to Mr. Fine. Michigan, kick this one off. Fernandez from the two. Tackle made at the 29. The offense will start at the 29-yard line. First down, 10 to go. They hand it off. Tackle made at the 45. That makes it first and 10. From their own 45-yard line, first down, empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. Holding, holding, on the offense. On the offense. Well, when holding is that so obvious, the official most definitely is going to bust him. Nice 
nice run up the middle. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. McGee gets the call again. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. And for McGee, he just passed the 300-yard mark for the day. That is some accomplishment. Let me remind everybody that this guy's only a freshman. So if he's doing this now, can you imagine what he's going to be doing in a few years? From the 48-yard line, third down. They work the tailback, and he's short. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Fourth down. They come out in a punt formation. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. They'll start at the 26. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. They bring the quarterback down. And you can just tell by his mannerisms that this quarterback is really frustrated. There have been problems on the offensive line this whole game. And he's just taken hit after hit today. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Back to pass. It's third and long. Ball on the 18. They hand it off. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And they head to the locker room. And folks, we got a bit of a laugher here. Our score here at the big house. Ohio State 52, Michigan 3. We're all ready for another half of football, even though this game is already out of hand. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. For Michigan, the first half was a complete nightmare. For more, let's send it down to Aaron. Shell shock. That's all you need to know about this squad and how they're feeling so far. As he came out of the locker room, their coach told me that even in their worst nightmares, they never expected to face such a hole at halftime. The first half produced no turnovers, which was pointed out by both coaches. Brad, back up to you. The fact that these two teams are so intimately familiar with one another makes this even more shocking. And down he goes at the 23. That's a game That's a game two two play. That makes that it makes second, second and eight. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Up the middle for a nice game. Dorty picks up about four yards on the play. Third down. From their own 27-yard line, third down. Takes it and he's tackled short. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. It's fourth down. And they're ready to punt this one away. There's a flag on the play. 
on the receiver on the team. team. Well, when holding is that obvious, the official most definitely is going to bust you. From their own 27-yard line, first down. Silva with the option. Runs it right, nice pickup. And for McGee, he's broken the team's single-game rushing mark. He's been rushing with such determination. I think this just goes to show you he's one of the best around. Again, he'll get the call. And he's tackled at the 42. On the on the tackle. That's good That's for a good gain of 11, 11 yards. yards. First, down. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Again with a carry. Gains his way to midfield. McGee gains around 8 yards on the run. That makes it second and 2. two. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 50. Here's the give. Tackle made at the 40. First down. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. McGee picks up five with the carry. That makes it six, 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 six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 35. Up the middle for a nice game. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. It's recovered. Well, it took a little while, but finally something went right for the defense. We'll see if they can make a little run here. If there was ever a time to take advantage of a situation, then this would be it. There's a player injured, but it looks like it's just a stinger. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review, call on the field is overturned. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Tackle at the 22. They gained five yards there. Good job by the quarterback to put the ball right in the hands of the big tight end there. Here's third and three. Ball on the 22. Hand off and he won't make it. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. So it's fourth down. This is a 38-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up, and it is good. Smith has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Williams from the three. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. First down, 10 to go. And he's tackled at the 22. The running back gets two on the carry. That makes it second and eight and eight. Second and eight, ball on the 22. Again, he'll get the call. Brought down in the open field. 
making it a made on play. That'll move the chance change over Michigan again. First, first down. down. From their own 30 yard line, it's first down. Brown on the option. The quarterback decided to pitch it on the option, but the back had nowhere to go. Just a perfect defensive scheme for stopping that. They got to the option before it got to them. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 26-yard line. Looking long down the left side. That close to being intercepted. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 26. He's gobbled up in the backfield. So it's fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Clipping, Clipping. on the receiving, on the receiving team. team. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Pull back straight ahead. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Boy, how would you like to be a defensive back and see this guy rumbling at you with a full head of steam? Nicely done by the big man. First and ten. Ball on the 43. Pitches in, and he's got a lane. Brought down at the 35-yard line. McGee gets eight yards on the play. That makes it second and two. From the 35-yard line, second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. So he finds his receiver for a short gain and a first down. Good look there from the quarterback, dumping it off and coming away with a new set of downs. And they make the stop at the 31-yard line. And for McGee, the great rushing day he's having is bringing him close to the record books. McGee will run it again. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. And he can't get away from the pressure. From the 26-yard line, second down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. About a five-yard pickup on the old play-action pass. Now it's third and nine coming up. This is the eighth play of this drive. Nice run there. 
Good awareness by the defense to know where the first down was and stop him short of. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. This will be about a 32 or 33 yard field goal. And he got it. The field goal attempt is good. Smith has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Taken at the five. Gets to about the 27 yard line. They'll set up shop at the 27 yard line. First and 10. The halfback with a carry. At the 40. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 31. He's got himself a 100-yard rushing performance. One of the reasons he's a real contender for the Heisman is that he's able to produce on the ground like this. Not every quarterback can do that. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. They go with the run, and they get nice yardage on that run. Dorty picks up about four yards on the delayed handoff. It's second and seven. Ball on the 27. Brown options out. Tackle made at the 24. So they pick up three on the option keeper. From the 24-yard line. It's third down. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. He's wrapped up for the sack. Fourth and long here after the sack. No good on fourth down. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. They'll go to work at the 40-yard line. Silva on the option left side. He fights forward to about the 43. Robinson picks up around three on the speed option there. This run was disrupted by the blitz of the middle linebacker. Another run. Nice run there. Robinson picks up about seven yards on the halfback draw. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on the 50-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And down he goes at the 38-yard line. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. He's tackled at the 38. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That makes it second, second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Silva on the option. He laterals the ball. Nice gain as he works the right side. Robinson gains about five yards on the run. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Tackle at the 31-yard line. Well, they didn't need much, so give it up to the defense for reading that one and making a sensational stop to keep them short of the first down. 
They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. Knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. And the defense comes through. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Second and 13. Ball on the 26. And they'll run him again. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. It's third and three. Ball on the 36-yard line. Runs it, and oh, he's level. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there, and the defense this time wins the battle. It's fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. This has been a record-setting game as we saw him break the school mark earlier for most rushing yards. The fact that he's been able to put up these stats on the road makes it doubly impressive. They'll start at the 29. First and 10. Silva back to throw, decides to slide. About eight yards there on the scramble. From their own 37 yard line, second down. Tackle made at the 45. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45 yard line. They'll bring him down at the 46 yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That makes it make sense. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Robinson picks up a yard on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. He throws it. That's incomplete. Fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. And he just got stood up right there. And he didn't get anything on that return. Well, the coverage team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. Gets a pitch and brought down hard. Boy, it's nice to see the speed on the defensive side of the ball here. That time they were able to catch the running back behind the line. That's impressive. Second down and 14. Ball on the 12. Tackle made at the 12-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. They line up at the 12. It's third down. And it looks like they're going to run away with this one as we head into the fourth quarter. The score here at Michigan Stadium. Ohio State 58, Michigan 3.
from their own 12-yard line. Third down. Brown, back to pass. Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. You know what happened there? The offensive line was so focused on picking up the blitz, they forgot about blocking the defensive lineman. Fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Booming kick. Fernandez fields it at the 50. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipping, Clipping. on the receiving, on the receiving team. team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. And off to the back. Look out. Tackle at the 43-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 43. Fires right side, got his tail back. And he's taken down at the 42. Robinson picks up about a yard with that completion. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Hands off to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Throws it deep. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The offense will take over at the 20. First down, look at the throw. And they got him. From their own 15-yard line, it's second down. And it falls incomplete. That's a really athletic play when you're right at the point of attack. You don't have a whole lot of time to react, but he moved very quickly, and he got his hands in the way of the pass. He passes it. Incomplete. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. So it's fourth down, and they're ready to punt this one away. Booming kick. Fernandez fields it at the 38. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Toss left, and he'll lose yards. Excellent pursuit by the defense. They're getting off their blocks, and that time they tracked him down for a loss. Here's the run. Got a hole. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. 
first down. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Silva, options out to the left. He can run. The 10. This one isn't going to stand. There's a flag back near the line, and I saw a hold. Holding. On the offense. Way too much jersey there. Pretty easy call for the officials. So first down once again, but a long ways to go after that penalty. He's taken down at the 40. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 40. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, third down. Hand off and he won't make it. The offense got a little conservative and predictable with their play call. But credit the defense with being up to the task of stopping the run. It has the distance. And it's wide left. No good. Not a very good attempt there for the sophomore kicker. It doesn't matter what the distance is. It's just so cold out there that it's hard to make any type of field goal. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Here's a throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. His season passing total now reaches the 2,500-yard mark. Think about how consistently accurate you've got to be to reach this level. It's nothing to sneeze at. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down at the 41. So it's the cornerback that comes up with a fumble, and this ball will change hands. Fumbles will absolutely drown an offense. It's hard to get into a rhythm when you make mistakes like that. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. Hands it off. Wait a second. They put the points on the board, but they might have to take them down. Clipping, clipping. On the off, on the off. That one's going to put them way Don't back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. Nice run there as they work the outside. Robinson comes away with five yards on the carry. From the 29-yard line, second down. On the handoff, watch out. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. First down. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. Ah. 
Silva on first down. The 10, the 5. Dives, and he's down. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. They're crowding the line. Got the corner. He's in. Another touchdown. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he converts the extra point. So a five-play, 30-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score, 65-3. Smith has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping, clipping. On the receiving team. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. Brown set to go to the air. Knocked down. Incomplete. Defenders are taught that if you can't get to the quarterback, get your hands up and try and knock the pass down. On the delay and he's brought down immediately the lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down and once he gets moving there's no stopping him this guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy and they make the stop at the 23 yard line wow a long game but still not enough for the first well the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down it's fourth down the punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away got the corner and he's tackled at the 45. They'll set up shop at the 45-yard line. First down, 10 to go. They're going to pitch it. And down he goes at the 37-yard line. The thing about the toss is if the blocking is set up well out in front of the runner, he can really pick up a good head of steam before he encounters any potential defenders. From the 37-yard line, first down. Again with a carry. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. Robinson gets about a yard on the play. From the 36-yard line, second down. Silva steps back to pass. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Again with the run. Tackle made at the 26. He tops 100 yards on the ground with that last run. One of the reasons he's a real contender for the Heisman is that he's able to produce on the ground like this. Not every quarterback can do that. From the 26-yard line, first down. Cut. 
He's taken down at the 25. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. From the 25 yard line, second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Weber gets six yards on the play. From the 19 yard line, third down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They keep it on the ground and get the first down. Give credit to the big boys up front. They did an excellent job of allowing the back to get nice yardage there. And down he goes at the 13. So he tried to scramble there, but it didn't even look like he got a yard. He just got lucky to get to the line of scrimmage after that play. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Go into the end zone. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown. He makes it four scoring passes. Well, what we have right now is a quarterback who's very comfortable with his offense. He believes in his system, and the coaches and players believe in him. You couldn't ask for a better situation. He makes the PAT, a 10-play, 54-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 72-3. Oh, Smith looks ready to kick this one off. He got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll set up shop at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Brown on first down. The ball is loose. He picks it up. Inside the 30. They get in. Touchdown. Holding. Holding. But it always makes you nervous any time a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. But man, did it work out for him here for a big-time play in the score. And he adds the extra point. So with under five minutes to go here in the fourth, the score, Ohio State 79, Michigan 3. Smith looks ready to kick this one off. Williams from the six. And he just got stood up right there. The offense will take over at the 27. Brown to the air on first down. Decides to slide. He picks up a good seven yards there on the quarterback keeper. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Brown, options, left side, brought down at the 43. You talk about a dual-threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Drops back on first down. He's at midfield, slides down to the ground.
Somebody jumped early down there. Dead ball. Dead ball. Won't start Won't on the offense. offense. Still first down. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Gets it out in a hurry. He goes down at the 16. From the 16-yard line, first down. They'll give it off here. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Brown drops back to pass, and they get the sack. Second down from the 11-yard line. He throws, puts it right in his hands, touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you gotta keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. He makes the PAT, a seven-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown's a result. So our score, 79-10. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to pull this one out, but you admire the hustle to recover the onside kick, even at this point in the game. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Again with a carry. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. From their own 45-yard line, third down. They run it for the first, and he stops. How about the play of this defensive end? This is just solid run defense here. They get a great push up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. And at the end, they're able to wrap him up. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. From their own 23-yard line, it's first down. Brown set to go to the air. 
He dives and he'll be marked down. First and ten, ball on their own 34. He's got it with room to run. He's knocked out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Grant picks up seven yards with that catch. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Seems like every game, this guy's in the offense's backfield, bringing guys down for a loss. He's just got a knack for making plays. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. They'll bring him down at the 49. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. From midfield, it's second down. Five wide. And it's knocked away. The pass, the pass was incomplete. Brock Rock was, was the intended receiver, receiver on the play. Third down. Third, down. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. Personal foul. Personal foul. Dropping the pass. Dropping the pass. First down. From the 35 yard line, first down. Across the middle, intercepted. This one's in the books, and our final score, Ohio State 79, Michigan 10. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. And for McGee, he gets the award for player of the game. For Ohio State, they continue their run at a perfect season. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 12. For Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.